Hello friends, Jambuko Bo or A Van Hoove here. Um, this is just me presenting my uh, low cost uh, farming fleet, which I actually alternate with my uh, with a typical Fletcher fleet. I alternate so I don't uh, lose affinity, but it's just a sample configuration. Now, as you can see here, um, Cassin and her sister, the other fleet that I use, are both uh, just at level 70, and I still don't have their. I'm working on getting their skills maxed out. But the idea here is to compensate for their lack of stats by giving them the best uh, possible equipment you can manage. And that's the idea behind it. Uh, so that it'll be useful at least uh, as far as they can go I think um, event map uh, yeah B1 I think or B2 I'm trying to stretch it up to B2 so that I don't have to use any of the more expensive plates the idea I want to go with is that try to push how, how low I can go with the oil consumption as you can see here it's just uh, well the thing is uh, the goal is to keep the oil cost below 10 at least unfortunately uh, I can't exactly avoid having to get Erebus to limit break 2 because uh, the lowest cost to offense ratio is affected deeply by the fact that uh, you don't get your second shot for your main gun barrage unless you get uh, Erebus and Terror to limit break tier 2 Unlike the usual thing where you can simply go for tier 1 with the normal BB and you can uh, get two shots of the main gun. Still, uh, I think that's the idea. I'm gonna go and uh, sh show them off in action. Just a quick uh, battle or two. Here, right now I'm working on uh, working on B side of the event map. So far, I'm able to do the B1 map with uh, my budget fleet, albeit with a bit of uh, difficulty because before this, I had them configured for anti sub warfare. So this time. Uh, and it, uh, it ended up relatively well, I mean considering how uh, how they're built. Yep. You okay. Always love it when infinite darkness clears a map. It always becomes a matter of uh, hoping that uh, the main f Erebus and Terror skill will proc. 
That's why I'm, I'm working on maxing those out too. Personally, I'd prefer to work with this on auto, but uh, when things get tough, manual play proves to be the key. There we go, infinite darkness again. On average, as I discussed in my previous video with regard to quality of life improvements, the load times and the uh, transitions between the battle screens really, really uh, make things feel really slow. As you can see here, I'm, I'm, I'm playing on my phone. I don't know if the folks playing with their PC uh, using emulators have a, a better better load times or better transition times. There's also the idea of actually, I mean, I hope eventually there'd be a PC version of this. I mean, Raid Shadow Legends did it, albeit uh, in the, with a questionable level of quality because I have yet to play that. And I don't think I'd want to play that unless they <laughs> hook me up with a sponsorship or something. Just being honest. Granted, uh, there will be situations that would uh, make things difficult regardless. But the level gap really helps in this uh, situation in particular. Also, the RNG, my god, is reliable, at least in the case of Terra. There's also the matter of, I wonder if the lock stat actually does anything. I mean, does it affect how often or how well the proc rate goes for the... But we're on skills like uh, Infinite Darkness. I am not sure, but that's the... Now, I generally... Uh, unless I have to, I mean, unless I really have to, the, I forgot the, Okay, as a general rule, I try to avoid uh, aviation fleets, especially the uh, red triangle ones.
Yep, face torque always works well. Although, as you can note here, there is a relevant uh, level, a level cap gap between them. <laughs> and there we go. Infinite Darkness saves the day yet again. Well, that's it for now. Just a quick demo of how uh, how reliable this uh, budget fleet. Okay, if you got to this point in the video, thank you. I hope uh, in the future you'll be able to do the YouTube -y stuff. I don't know, no, no pressure. Although it would be helpful. Especially if uh, you get to contribute to my goal of actually doing this full time. Well, thanks again. Jumbo Kobo, also known as Even Who, signing out.